Hey, this is Michael. Welcome back to me and Paul's channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to buy REO properties. What we'll cover is the two main ways me and Paul buy purchase REO properties. But before we dive into today's video, for those of you new, uh, we talk about buying, selling, and everything real estate, like virtual wholesaling, uh, buy, fix, and sell, private lending, selling with owner financing, local and out-of-state rentals. So if you're new and haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Uh, with that, let's get back into today's video on how to buy REO properties. So the two main ways that we do it is one is online REO auctions and the second is right off the MLS. So let's dive into online uh, REO auctions first. Online REO auctions, uh, we have a separate video that you guys could go to on our channel which outlines our seven step process on how we uh, buy REO auction properties. But for today's video is more high level. So I would say start with what specific state you wanna target and then what auction site do you want to go to and find these properties? It, there's several out there. There's Hudson and Marshall, there's auction.com, there's Zoom, there's HUD Home Store, there's HubZoom, et cetera. Next, you know, once you pick an auction site and figure out like where do you want to invest, you know, start reviewing and analyzing properties on these different auction sites. Then you want to determine your maximum bid amount that you want to bid on. And then once the auction's live, start bidding on these properties. Now, most likely you're not going to win your, your first property, you know, bidding. However, there's a high probability if the reserve is not met, that property is going to come back onto an auction the following week or month. So continue to follow the property. Uh, there's ways on these sites to get notifications when a property that you're following comes back online. You could like it or heart it type of thing, and then you'll get communications going forward when that property comes back. So persistency is the key to the game there on online auctions. You're usually not going to win them on the first auction. Continue to follow those properties. The second way we buy uh, REO properties is right off the MLS. We have in several different states and markets, we have daily emails sent to us, whether it's a new REO listing or we run searches where REOs have been uh, on the market greater than 90 days. And then we'll review these properties, analyze them, and we make the offers through the listing agent. So we'll send in a purchase and sale, uh, purchase and sale agreement along with proof of funds and you know, let the agent know that we're cash buyers and can close quickly. So hope this video was helpful on how to buy REO properties. Uh, we cover the two main ways me and Paul do it through online REO auctions and right off the MLS. If you have any questions, feel free to write us in the comments. Like the video if you got something out of it. And thanks and looking forward to the next